Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I'm kind of shocked by this one because I really wasn't sure how you guys were going to take it, but we are on part two of my makeup collection declutter marathon. You guys did not see, I recently posted a video where I combined all of my old declutter videos into one long video. You guys seem to really enjoy that, which I was really shocked by because I just wasn't sure how you guys were going to take it, but you guys seem to really enjoy it. So for, so for today, for our final episode, we have part two, which is going to be my blush, bronzers, highlighters, and all my eyeshadow palettes declutter videos combined into one long video. This is just a great way to get you guys prepped for my upcoming declutter series. It's gonna be happening at the end of November, early December. We're gonna be going back through this collection one more time to see what I wanna keep by the end of this year. I told you guys every six months I'll be doing a declutter series and we are gonna be coming back next month at the end of it to really determine what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this long video. And if you do, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And also welcome back to the episode of Vlog. Going. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So if you guys have been here on my channel, you guys would recently saw that I recently decluttered my primers, foundations, concealers, and setting powders. This is everything we have going for us right now. And I told you guys that I would do a longer video where I'd be decluttering just this entire drawer as a whole. This is my bronzer side. This is my blush side. <laughs> this is my highlighter side. You know, for someone like me who is super oily and doesn't need a lot of highlighters, I sure as hell have a lot of highlighters. So we're going to be taking each one out. I'll be setting you guys up right over here and we're going to declutter this entire thing right here. And then after this, we'll end up moving on to like my eye drawer, like my backup drawer. And then that monstrosity right there of all those palettes. So let me go ahead and get you guys set up. We're going to go ahead and do a massive declutter. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get you guys set up and we're going to get this started. Okay. So like this is my bronzer drawer. Um, she's packed and it doesn't even have like just bronzer in here. Like it literally has um, like tons of like blushes in here too. Honestly, I think, I think at some point I'm gonna take you guys through these drawers right, right over here and do declutter of these drawers as well because I don't really use a lot of these products. So I'll be doing more declutter, but that's gonna be at a later date. All right. So um, I really kind of don't know where to begin. Honestly. Okay. Where do we begin? All right. Um, all right. Shit, where the fuck do we begin? Okay, so we're gonna start off with this bad boy. So this is gonna be my Marc Jacob. This is my Omega 3 bronzer. It's in the shade called 104 Tantastic. This is my one of my absolute, absolute favorite bronzers. As you guys can see, she is extremely, extremely well loved. I really don't hit pan on a lot of products because I review makeup for a living. This is my full-time job currently. So it's my job to test out all new products. So it's very difficult for me to hit pan. And when I do, it speaks volumes on a product. I love this bronzer with such a passion. So I'm going to hold on to this. Marc Jacobs, even though Marc Jacobs no longer has this like available, I'm kind of hoping because they, 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 they did say they're coming back. They said they're coming back. I'm hoping they come back with this. And if I do, then I could definitely pass on this one and like get a new one, but we'll see. I hope if they do come back, they don't change the formula. They change nothing about this because truly I'm not kidding when I say this is one of the best, best, best powder bronzers out there. So definitely holding on to this. All right, next we have the ColourPop. This is the Soul Body Bronzer. I recently just tried this and oh my gosh, y'all, as a cream bronzer, this is absolutely fantastic. It smells incredible like seriously smells incredible it just like glides on the skin so effortlessly like it's very like difficult to tell like it already on my skin well, i've also been at the pool every single day because i've been doing 75 hearts i'm at the pool every single day um so i've been getting like super tan but this is an amazing product it literally just glides on the skin it just like melts in the skin it blends beautifully it smells incredible like it seriously smells like you're at the beach. I freaking love the smell. So we're going to definitely hold on to this one. All right. Next we have this flower beauty. This is a long wear liquid contour stick. This sucks. I really wanted to love this because I really do love drugstore stuff. I actually prefer drugstore over high end, but this was just patchy. It just doesn't blend well. It has like a gray undertone. Ah, I just don't like it. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this. Next we have the Elf Putty Bronzer. This is another amazing cream bronzer. You know, I've really, really, really been getting into cream bronzers lately. I don't know why. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Even though I do have really oily skin, I just found myself really kind of gravitated towards these. Next we do have this Milk Makeup. This is a Bionic Bronzer. Um, 
uh, Heather Austin actually gave this to me because when we did a full face of like each other's worst makeup, she passed this my way. I personally did not like this at all. And then I also realized I have one of my own. I have one of my own. It came in a big PR box a while back and I just never did anything with it. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this. This is just, it's just, it just wasn't good. Y'all, I at first hated this LYS bron bronzer and I thought it wasn't the right match, but this is one of the most creamiest bronzers I have ever encountered. It is absolutely amazing. No wonder why it's still sold out on Sephora. Now I have this shade no limits I have, I have the shade harmony and I don't know there's something about this cream bronzer that is just truly absolutely fantastic I will 100% repurchase this as soon as I run out I will absolutely repurchase this again because it, it really is just that good next we do have the milk makeup stick right here I really do enjoy this milk makeup stick I think it really is wonderful now I did get this one in PR these are super creamy they blend very very beautifully so we're going to definitely hold on to this one then we do have the essence this is baby got bronze I love this one this is in the shade called cinnamon stick there's just something about this that blends so like seamlessly on the skin it is beautiful it's an amazing amazing affordable like cream bronzer from essence it's like four dollars absolutely would repurchase this i had the shade called cinnamon spice well worth it next we did this milani bronzer right here you know there's nothing wrong with this bronzer like truly there's nothing wrong with this bronzer I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I feel like I don't dig into this one as much as I do other ones. So I feel like I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I, I just don't know. I don't know. We have the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer here. Now this is absolutely a fantastic powder bronzer. I'm going to hold on to this one because I really do enjoy this powder bronzer. So this one's definitely a key. Let me do the, Phys the Physician for Formula. This is a Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. This is beautiful. It just melts into the skin so effortlessly. It blends beautifully. It smells incredible. So we're definitely going to hold on to this one. Then we do this Revlon Skin likes this is a prismatic bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this but i'm gonna hold on to it for just for a minute because i do have a full face of revlon pr products i want to try for you guys and i actually didn't have a bronzer i don't think there was a bronzer included so i'm gonna declutter this but i'm gonna hold on to it just for that video and then after the video i will declutter this because i just don't ever use it and i'm kind of curious to see what my thoughts are on this again but i'm gonna go ahead and like let this one go i wanted to love you but this looked gray on me this looked absolutely gray on me and looked horrible i did not like it so I could have picked up a shade that was probably better geared towards my skin um, skin color, but honestly, I just really wasn't that impressed with the formula. And I really do hate products like this because I just feel like the way these products are made, like the product just like, see, it just leaks out. I can't close it. So it just like leaks out. It's disgusting. It gets everywhere. So this is definitely a declutter. To do with the Rare Beauty bronzer stick, you can tell that she is well loved. Absolutely a phenomenal, phenomenal bronzer stick from Rare Beauty. It's one of the only ones I really have from this brand. Um, I really do love this product, so we are going to definitely hold on to her. Hold on to this Jaclyn bronzer, and the reason I'm going to hold on to this one because I really do love the formula on this. I love the way that it smells. It's really beautiful. I think I'm going to hold on to these ones, but I think the ones that I have in my drawers are probably going to be decluttered because I don't ever use this one. I don't ever use this ones like I do this one, so I think this one we're going to hold on to, but we'll declutter my other ones. You guys see this? Like, this is the Milani. Like, look at this. Look at how gross this is. Like absolutely disgusting. This product just seeps out like there's no tomorrow. So while it's not like the worst product in the world, I can't stand having a messy product like this. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. I love her. I can't help it. I do love my Ayala Tiberi contour one. Am I going to refill it whenever I run out? Probably not. Um, and if I do, it will probably be during, during like Sephora VIP sale, like in November, because I do have other amazing cream bronzers. So I'm going to go ahead and let this, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. But once it's gone, I'm going to let it go. We have the makeup by Mario sculpting stick i don't know why i always pull up that side i really love this sculpting stick i think it's absolutely very absolutely beautiful very very easy to work with so we're gonna hold on to this one we have a nars cream bronzer another beautiful bronzer gonna hold on to this one i obviously have a hoarding problem because i can't seem to let bronzers go but it's because i use them i switch them up all the time i never just stick to one bronzer at least when it comes to cream because i love them too much okay so we do have a milk makeup this is a contour stick i actually don't have any contour sticks i have bronzer sticks but not one that's specifically designed for contour so we're going to hold on to this one okay so here we have another bronzer this is my gucci bronzer i'm going to hold on to this because this is so luxurious she's a little bit deeper than i need she's pretty deep but she's great for the summer season so we're going to hold on to her then we do this benefit this is a, a four scope palette so it's going to be a bronzer a blush and it's me a bronzer two blushes and this gorgeous cookie highlighter oh my god this is stunning but i never ever ever use this so we're gonna go ahead and just pass this along because she never gets used so i feel like this definitely deserves to go to a better home this bitch has survived every single declutter because i i can't seem to let her go 
I cannot seem to let her go, y'all. This is my oldest, oldest bronzer. I bought this when I did a, my following a Robbie Christie tutorial, and I finally got rid of the lip products this year. That was very difficult for me. I just don't know if I'm ready to let this one go. It makes me so sad. And um, here is a Marc Jacobs. This is the shade 104, Fan fantastic. I do have a backup. It's from TJ Maxx, so I don't care if it's expired, honestly, because I've had this for a while. We're still gonna hold on to her because she is my favorite and I do not wanna let this one go. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna move on to blush and I'll show you guys the organization of this in just a little bit. And I'll show you guys how much I kept and how much I decluttered. So let's go ahead and move on to blush. I have a lot of blushes. I don't know how this happened, but somehow I ended up with um, a lot of blushes. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, dive right on in, I guess. So um, up first, we do have this House Labs. This is going to be a um the dragon fruit days um blush i only use this twice so i really want to keep using this because i really only use this twice and it's like 38 dollars blush she is like super pigmented i mean like seriously like she's very 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 pigmented so i definitely want to get more use out of her before i just go ahead and pass her along so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do okay so like switch directions because i feel like i was blocking my light i'm putting this like on my backdrop so like the lights are behind me and I feel like my shadow keeps blocking the light. So now we're filming it this way. So up next, we do have this Catrice. This is a face palette right here. So this comes with, um, looks like to be two bronzers and two blushes. I honestly haven't even used this. I, I'm not going to, I really do know myself. I know realistically I'm not going to. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to a better home. All right, next we did the two Essences blushes. So we have the Nala blush right here. And then we have the um, Remember Who You Are blush. I actually really do like this blush. I think it's really beautiful, very peachy. So I'm going to hold on to this, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Then we do the Pat McGrath. This is the Bridgington series or Br um, Bridgington. How do you guys want to say it? Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'll decide at the end when I go to do my organization whether or not I'm going to keep this because I really don't use it, but it is really pretty and it was limited edition. I think you could actually find this now at TJ Maxx. If I'm if I'm honest, I think you find this at TJ Maxx. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the maybe pile because I'm not sure. This is from Flower Nose Beauty. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful blush. I've never even used this, but I do know it's so beautiful. I just, uh, I know I'm not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake blush right here. I'm going to hold on to this because I really do love Glam Light. I love Strawberry Shortcake. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. We're going to hold on to this one right here. Same with the Chucky blush from Glam Light. I'm going to hold on to this. Now, some actually got lucky and got the two different colors. Some got really lucky with that. Um, I did not, so I'm still going on to this because I really do love Glam Light. I love the Chucky feel, and I tried to hold on to everything Glam Light. The only thing I did get rid of was my lip products because I know I would never, ever use those, but this one I actually would, so we're going to hold on to this one. Next, we do have this blush from Game Beauty. It's a very beautiful blush, but realistically, I'm probably not going to dig into this one as I would other ones, so we're going to go ahead and pass this one along. There is something about a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush that I'm just like not for i don't know why they're just not my favorite in the slightest so we're gonna go ahead and pass along the super shock cheeks from ColourPop. i love like their highlighters but their super shock cheek blushes maybe just because they're too pigmented for me we're gonna go ahead and pass those along because realistically like i just i won't i won't use them like those are colors that i just generally would like never use i really wanted to love this blush because obviously it's l'oreal it's it went viral but honestly i just couldn't get into this color couldn't get into the formula and maybe it's like too pigmented for my taste maybe i used it wrong but we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one this is a 40 dollar blush and i never use it because i'm too scared to use it because it's so expensive but then every time i try it out i'm like why am i not using this because it's so freaking beautiful so yes we are going to be holding on to this one. Here are the ooh, here are the two ColourPop blushes. We have the Alice in Wonderland and the Queen of Heart blushes. While they are pretty, I really did enjoy the Alice in Wonderland one. Honestly, I'm not going to reach for these ones as much as I would the other ones that I have in my collection. So we're going to go ahead and declutter these two. Okay, so just some packed or top blushes. Now we have some new shades that I've never shown on my channel. My favorite one is this one right here. This is in the shade called She's Passionate. This is my absolute favorite blush of all time. This is my fa absolute favorite blush of all time. I mean, like literally a hit pan, but they don't really make these blushes anymore. Like they just generally don't make these blushes anymore. This one's my absolute favorite. So my beautiful friend, Ashley, she actually sent me some of their blushes that they had left. So we have the shade called She's Sincere and She's Adorable right here. I absolutely would use the shade She's Adorable, but swoop. <laughs> but this one here, She's Sincere, I would never really use the shade only because it's like, 
I don't know, I just think it's like a tan blush. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to get too much use out of this one. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this along, but I am gonna hold on to the She's Adorable and um, She's Passionate. And I also have a backup of She's Passionate right here. So this is a backup, this is mine, and then we have a backup right here. So I'm gonna keep two, pass one along. You guys remember this blush going viral all over TikTok, the one size. I don't use it as much as I want to, but we are definitely gonna hold on to this because I wanna get more use out of this. We have the e.l.f. This is the Bora Bora shade right here. Absolutely beautiful cream blush from e.l.f. We're gonna hold on to this one. I do have three Jean-Luc Cosmetics liquid blushes. I just got these in PR. I've been using them. I've been really enjoying them. So we're gonna hold on to these three. We do have this Milani blush right here. It's cute, but honestly, I don't know, something about like little drop blushes that I'm still not really into. I like, I like if it either has an applicator or like something like that, but this one, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to declutter this one. I just wasn't a fan. I just wasn't a fan. I've tried this several times. I can't get into it, so we're going to go ahead and let this one go. We have these two Pat McGrath blushes right here. I think I'm gonna hold on to these ones so I can definitely try them out. These are unused, I've not tried them yet. These were sent to me by an amazing friend. She knows who she is. I just haven't had a chance to actually sit down and play with these, so we're gonna do that. This um, Merit like flush, blonde, flush bomb in the shade Cheeky, oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is probably my favorite like Cheeky balm like this. It is one of the prettiest shades ever. It blends on so beautifully. I love that like light peachy shade. There's something about this that I just can't get enough of. Absolutely holding on to this one. We do have these two cream blushes from Winky Lux. These are absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love these so much. Love the packaging. I love the concept of it. But I will say, because it's a rose, it's a little bit more difficult for me to work with. Um, I could tap a brush into here. But I don't know. I, I struggle with these ones just a bit. And the colors are a little bit too pigmented for me. So I'm going to go ahead and let these two go. But the formula is amazing. We do have this Too Faced Too Femme um, blush right here. But this is like a sparkly blush. Do you guys see that? I'm not really into blushes like that. You guys know I like more matte blushes just because I do get super oily that this would make it a bit more difficult for me to stay like nice and matte and it make, it'd make it so I couldn't even put on highlighters. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. So another classic of mine, this is the Desert Rose from ColourPop. They no longer even have this blush anymore. Like this blush has been like discontinued, but let me tell you, it is such a gorgeous blush. It is actually like, I swear, the Patrick Ta, she's passionate. This is like the exact dupe because it's like almost like the exact same color. Very beautiful. These two blushes right here from Flower Nose Beauty. And again, they are absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But I also know myself, realistically, I'm not gonna really use these because I'm just too, I'm too afraid to touch them because they're just too pretty and I don't wanna ruin them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass these along. Maybe somebody will get a better use out of them than I would. I will say these are just unbelievably gorgeous, but I'd rather them go to a better home than just sit here collecting dust just because I wanna look at them and not actually play with them. We have this beautiful cream lip cheek moment from Ofra. We have the shade called Heart Eyes, but this one is a little bit too pinky for me. This one's not my favorite shade, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. All right, so I have all these blushes right here from Benefit. I'm not gonna keep all of them. I'm gonna only keep the ones I generally would use. I'm gonna go ahead and pass along the rest. They were supposed to be just send me their entire set in PR, but realistically, they're not getting used the way they should. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, I'm just gonna quickly go through here and see what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna declutter. So first we do have the shade called Krista. And if you guys have never smelled these blushes, you guys absolutely have got to. This is a really beautiful blush, but we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. We have the shade Peach, Peach, Peachini. Um, definitely not a blush for me. I would never use it as a blush. We're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. We do have the shade Willa. I like the shade Willa. I think it's a pretty shade, but mm, I think we'll have, uh, this one's a maybe. Sheila, was it Sheila? That's one I really like. Yeah, I really like the shade called Sheila because it's almost like a peachy blush. Definitely more my vibes. We're gonna hold on to this one. We have the shade Sunny. Declutter, Tara. Yeah, a little bit too deep for me, so we're gonna pass this one along. Butterfly, I love a good orange blush. Definitely gonna hold on to this. You can never have enough orange blushes, so we're gonna hold on to that. We do have Pom Pom. Again, a little bit too deep for me, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Java, too deep for me. We're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. And like Moon, again, a very, another gorgeous shade, but we're gonna go ahead and have to pass this one along because again, I just wouldn't get a use out of this one. Then we do have the blush All Yours from Ofra. I love this one, such a beautiful color. We're gonna hold on to this. The Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beautifying Wand. This is a shade called Pink Pop. Love this shade, we're gonna hold on to this one. This is a Cheek Duo Moment from um, Sigma X Cinderella. 
we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along she's pretty but i just don't really get a use out of her so i'm gonna go give this to a better home nice formula um but the color is just too light look more like a highlighter so we're gonna go ahead and pass this along this is another super shock blush again look at that color too shiny won't get a use out of these ones so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along okay moving on to these last ones so these are from more cosmetics we do have all the blushes i will say these are absolutely beautiful i mean just look at these blushes right absolutely beautiful so we have the shade 01 02 03 04 god this is my favorite look at 05 like is that not the prettiest blush ever 06 07 and 08 I'm still going to hold on to these ones because I really do I love the formula. I love these and especially especially because I think they're just so pretty. And then we have the Odin's Eye right here. Now, I love these ones for the summer because these are absolutely gorgeous. So we have all the Odin's Eye ones. I'm going to hold on to these ones just because I still use these, especially for the summertime. They're so fun to play with. So I just know that like these ones still get loved and uh, I'm, I decluttered, I, th I think, way like look at that. Look how gorgeous that is way more blushes than i kept so i feel like i feel like i'm allowed to keep these ones right here like oh look how pretty like so stunning so pretty oh <laughs> my god this is my highlighters i have way too many highlighters you know for someone who really just does not like to have oily skin i sure as hell keep a lot of highlighters for some unknown reason not, not everything in here is highlighters there are some blushes that somehow made it into here as well so we're just going to go ahead and start so up first we do have these little hearts from ColourPop. these came in like their little valentine's day collection and i know they're like sold out but i already have like blushes and highlighters that look like this honestly so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these two just because i honestly won't get a use out of them plus this damn pink shade if this pink shade could be found in so many other places like this is like the hottest pink shade right now everybody's obsessed with it so we're gonna go ahead and just pass these along because i just know i'm not gonna use these we have the the gorgeous michaela highlighter with glam light i'm definitely gonna hold on to this this is a stunning highlighter i can't deny it so we're gonna hold on to this one we have this gorgeous gorgeous highlighter from winky lux but again this type of component makes it really difficult for me to do like a really pretty highlight because I don't know I just I suck at kind of using these it's really really gorgeous but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along so we have these two blushers from made by Mitchell they're like blushers and highlighters but again I just don't use these I'm not a big fan of them so we're gonna go ahead and pass this too long they've never even been used I rediscovered my love for the flex steering highlighter from Colourpop we are absolutely holding on to this one it's amazing okay so this is actually from Floracis right here and I passed along the two blushes from Flower Nose Beauty but I'm gonna hold on to this one because this one is just so beautiful I figured I might as well just keep one one. And this one is a mix of two highlighters, a bronzer, and a blush. So we're going to hold on to this one. Okay, so we do have this blush duo from Scooby Doo and Glam Light, although this one did come in broken. And this one's actually. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually just pass. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one as a whole, or might just honestly get rid of it because this. I, it's just. It's too messy, and I just. Yeah, I'm going to. It's really pretty, but I know I'm not going to use this one. So we're just going to go ahead and let this one go. I have this highlighter from Legend of Korra and ColourPop. It's really pretty, but I'm never going to really use this. So we're going to go ahead and just let this one go. We have my Blend Bunny Cosmetics blush palette right here. I'm going to hold on to this one. You guys know how much I love Blend Bunny. So we're going to hold on to this one. Such a gorgeous highlighter palette from Glamline. This is the Rick and Morty collection. I love the shade Uncharted right here. It is so freaking stunning. I swear, like cameras and pictures just cannot do this shade justice. I'm so in love with this one. So we are absolutely holding on to that so this was actually sent to me from unearthly cosmetics this is their low light palette right here i actually do now have a discount code with unearthly cosmetics it is ally dawson if you guys want to save 10 percent off you could just use my whole name ally dawson i'm definitely gonna be holding on to this i haven't had a chance to really play around with it a lot so i definitely want to keep playing around with this watch it because i really have been enjoying unearthly cosmetics so we are definitely holding on to this one you guys know how much i love over cosmetics but they do have two liquid highlighters right here now these shades are a little bit out there i like more like champagne -y white shades and i will say the shade cupid definitely works more for me but i'm gonna go ahead and let these ones go because i just know i'm not going to use these ones as much as i would other ones in my collection so we're gonna go ahead and pass these ones along my amazing friend mikey sent this to me this is the one size beauty um this is the fantasio um highlighter it like switches like from mickey design um i can't get it to show it all the way 
it's not wanting to show, but like has a really cool like little shift. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this. I do love Disney and he sent this to me, so we're gonna hold on to this one. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this right here. It says, you are amazing. This is from Hank and Henry. Mikey sent this to me a long time ago for my birthday and I'm always gonna cherish this. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. I will say the formula on this is actually quite impressive. This is Flower Nose Beauty Highlighter. The formula is quite impressive. She is definitely like highlighty. Like she will blend like there's no tomorrow. She goes on the face and gives, gives you such a beautiful shine. But she's a little bit deep for me. Like she's just a little bit deep. I think it's great for the summer when I'm like really bronze and glowy. But I think any other time it'd just be a little bit too much for me. So we are gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Next we do the Glamlight X Frosted Flakes Collection. I love this little highlighter. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. I mean like this is so pigmented. Like such a beautiful, beautiful like formula. So we're definitely gonna hold on to this one. Okay, so I do have these two Jaclyn Cosmetics ones. I really do love the shade called Brighten Up. This is really great if I wanna have like a very, very light like highlighter moment. It's just very beautiful for that. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. But I think the shade Carrots, I've never even used this one. This actually was sent to me by my friend Mikey. Um, this shade's just a little bit too deep for me. I think it's a little bit too golden. And so I know I'm not gonna use this one. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This is from Revlon. This is their Skin Lights. I love this highlighter shade. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So we're definitely gonna hold on to this one. We do have a highlighter wand from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's definitely not bad. It's in the shade Spotlight, but I'm not the biggest fan of this one. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Same with the e.l.f. While I really did enjoy playing with this one, I just feel like I won't use this one nearly as much as I would other products in this collection. I'm still, I'm still just not the biggest fan of like liquid highlighters. I can't get into them as much as I do like liquid blushes and bronzers. And I'm just getting into liquid blonde and I'm just getting into liquid blushes. So highlighters still taking me a minute. It is really pretty, it shines nicely, but we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. However, the one I will keep is the Physician Formula Butter Glow. This is beautiful, it's stunning. The more I wore it, the more I fell in love with this because it just really just gives you a beautiful glow. I I, I love this, I, I can't let go of this one. I wanted to love this product from Wet n Wild, but I just could not get into this one. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go. All right, we do have the Milani Liquid um, Highlighter right here, and I just, <laughs> I can't. I just, I don't know, there's something about it, I'm just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, so we have to let it go. We have another clean, clean. We have another cream blush from Ofra. Again, it's a beautiful color, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along because I found the one that I really do love, and I'm not gonna use these ones as much as I would the other ones. So we're gonna let this one go. This is one of the prettiest highlighters from Benefit. This is in the shade called Cookie. This is just such a stunning shade. We're definitely gonna be holding onto this. All right, so these are all my Ofra highlighters. As you guys can see, I have quite a bit. It's because last year when I went down to the facility and I went down to the warehouse and their factory, they allowed me to like shop their whole products. That's why I have so many highlighters. But realistically, I don't use every single highlighter as much as I want to. So we're gonna see what I keep and what I don't keep, but I will show them to you. So up first we do have the um, the Hills highlighter from Ofra. I love this highlighter shade so much. It is absolutely beautiful. It's like a lighter shade than Rodeo Drive. It's part of the Rodeo Drive collection. So we're definitely gonna be holding on to this one, absolutely. Then we do have the Beverly Hills highlighter right here. Again, this is a beautiful highlighter. It's like a mix of five different highlighters in one. But I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along because I won't use this one nearly as much as I do other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. We have this like really pretty half magic highlighter, but honestly, I really don't use this one nearly as much. And I have other highlighters before I prefer, so we're going to pass this one along. All right, so like, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to kind of move through these quickly. Okay, so then we have, this is, okay, this is the long part because I have a lot of over highlighters. So this is in the shade called Cloud Nine. I'm just going to show them to you guys. I'll let you guys know which ones I keep and which ones I don't at the end. But I'm just going to show you guys each one. Um, we have the shade called Star Island right here. Space Baby. Dream Chaser. Moon Dance. Glazed Donut, Sugar Cookie, All the Lights, Mother Earth, Peppermint, Milk and Cookies, Sea Shimmer, Gumdrop, Pink Bliss, Pumpkin Pie, Bali, Neptune, Covet Garden, Retrograde, X's and Glows, Stars and Stripes, Gingerbread, and Rodeo Drive. Like I said, I'll let you guys know what I keep and what I declutter at the end. Next, we do have this Milk Makeup Highlighter Stick right here. I will say it's pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pass this one along. Okay, so we have all these unique highlighters right here. These are all from Odin's Eye. Again, I really do enjoy their highlighters. I enjoy like the uniqueness of these. So we're gonna hold on to all my Odin's Eye because I just really do enjoy 
these ones. I have a full video if you guys do want to check these ones out. Um, I just don't want to part from these ones just because they may be unique colors, but I don't know there's something about them. I just want to hold on to them. But I do have these like highlighters from Game Beauty. Again, these are really beautiful, but they're pretty much just like the Odin's Eye where they're really colorful. They have like really like unique colors to them, but I'm not the biggest fan of the formula. They're a little bit lackluster compared to other highlighters that I really do enjoy. So we're going to go ahead and pass the entire um, line along because I know I'm just not going to really use these ones like I will the other ones in my collection. <laughs> this one's so old. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the um, Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. I really did love this, but honestly, these are so old and they're pretty dry compared to what they used to be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let this one go finally. Same thing with this one. This is the Flexterian one again. Well, actually, this one feels. Ooh, this one still feels really good. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna hold on to this one still. We have my Amorizi highlighter from ABH. I'm still gonna hold on to this one because this one's still fantastic. So this is a keep. Same with my Fenty Beauty right here. This is like a diamond one. We're still gonna hold on to this one because you never know when you need like a really good just diamond moment like this. We're going to hold on to this. So these are the highlighters from um, Kaleidos right here. I only played with Ray Rider and I really did enjoy the formula on this. The rest I have not played with. Um, these were sent to me to, from Paige. She gave this to me because she had extras. So I'm going to hold on to these because I just want to hold on to them in case I, I want to hold on to them so I can play with them since I haven't had a chance to. But if I don't use, wow, that is stunning. But if I, ooh, wow. Look at that, that's beautiful. If I don't use these come December, then we're definitely gonna have to pass these along, but I wanna get a use out of them before I just go ahead and declutter them, because I actually haven't used them yet besides the ones, so we're gonna hold on to these ones. We have my Unearthly and Heather Austin collab right here. This is Resurgence, definitely hold on to this. Lynn Bunny Cosmetics, this is the Juicy palette right here. This is the Best Blush palette. I'm in love with this one, absolutely keeping this. My Dior Forever Backstage Glow Face palette, I absolutely hold on to this one. I coveted it for so long, finally got my hands on it, we're definitely holding onto this. Lynn Bunny Cosmetics Noctilucent Highlighter Palette. This is so like underrated. Photos do not do this justice. Absolutely holding onto this one. It is gorgeous. Michaela Part 2 Highlighter with Glam Light. I love this one. We're gonna hold on to this one. We have the Glam Light X Scooby-Doo. Holding onto this one. I love this one so much. They're so beautiful. Great formula. Definitely keeping. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Palette. Um, if I don't use it by December, I will go ahead and pass this one along because I don't use it as much as I want to. This was 70 freaking dollars. I need to use it more, but if I don't, I'm gonna be decluttering this in December. I'm holding onto this Lunar Beauty blush. I'm holding onto this Lunar Beauty um, highlighter shade. This is in the shade Jupiter. It's too deep for me, but I didn't have my other ones. I did declutter those other ones long ago. I really wish I didn't because Manny no longer makes these and I don't know if he'll ever bring them back. So I'm gonna hold on to this one just for like a, a keepsake. Can't deny how pretty this highlighter is from, from ColourPop. This is like their um, Hocus Pocus collection. Really pretty highlight, so definitely gonna hold on to this one. I have these three liquid highlighters, one from Ofra and two from Jaclyn. I'm still gonna hold on to these ones. I love the shade Monroe right here from Ofra and these ones are really good for like the summer season, dropping them on your shoulders if you want to or just adding a little bit of extra glowiness to the face. Gonna hold on to these ones because they really are beautiful. Okay, so here we got Jeffree Star Cosmetics right here. You guys know that I don't support Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't shop the brand. I don't care for Jeffree Star himself. Just not my personal cup of tea anymore. But I did spend decent money on these. So I only paid for three of these. I paid for these two right here and then this one. These two, a subscriber actually sent to me. Um, I didn't ask them to, but they thought that I'd really enjoy them and I didn't have a return address to send them back and I felt too guilty. So. Here they are, <laughs> but I will say the Extreme Frost from his brand, I can't knock it. It's absolutely fantastic. Like it literally speaks for itself. This one right here is absolutely disgusting. I mean, like look at the box. I don't know what that is. I could not tell you. This one right here has received the most love. They're $50 a piece. And let me tell you, I may not care for him or the brand, but he did make an amazing product out of this. This will last you for a freaking lifetime. This is in the shade called Sour Ice. I still think it's absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful highlighter i mean like just look at that look at that right there i can't knock how gorgeous that highlighter is it literally will last you for so long not only is it an amazing highlighter but it's beautiful for like an inner corner brow bone or if you want to add this onto the eye and like to really enhance an eye look this is where it's at this is where it's at so i'm not going to part from that one i really do love the shade called sour ice and um I, I i can't i can't take away my love for this one it just it's a good it's a good highlighter I really do love that shade. It's just like the shade called Gag Me. I really do love this one too. Um, it's a beautiful like icy blue highlighter. I mean, just like seriously. Like, look at that. 
so freaking beautiful. Those are the only two shades I actually use. I don't ever use these ones. Um, I don't even know what they look like, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, because it's been such a long time since I've tried these ones. So this is in the shade called Choking on Ice. So here's the shade called Choking on Ice. Okay, that's really pretty. Like I've never even used this or opened this. What shade is this? This is in the shade Stripper Magic. Okay, let's see how this looks. That's really pretty. This is in the shade Cold Hard Cash. Again, I've never even used these or opened these. I might not keep these ones right here though. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about those two. Okay, so that's the declutter pile right there. I still have like the keeps kind of like over here, over here, over here. So I still have to go through that and then like over here. So I'm actually gonna set you guys up. We're gonna get this nice and organized. And then I'm gonna show you guys officially what I kept, what I decluttered and tell you guys the number of each. I feel like I did a really good job getting rid of a lot of blushes overall and i got a good decent amount of highlighters getting rid of especially when i go through my ofra so let's get you guys set up and we're going to reorganize this and we're going to see what we actually keep and what we actually declutter Okay guys, so now everything is organized. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we kept and what we did not keep. Okay guys, so this is before. And this is after. Definitely still a full drawer, but I definitely think it looks so much better than what it did. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the bronzers first. Okay, so first we did the bronzers. I kept 18 bronzers and I decluttered six. <laughs> Clearly, I have a love for bronzers. I cannot help it. This was like the oddest thing to like organize because I don't really know how to necessarily organize my bronzers. So I just kind of have them like this or just have them kind of more on display so I can see what I'm working with. 
but I definitely kept way more than I decluttered. I only decluttered six, but that just kind of speaks volumes to the bronzers that I do have that I really, really, really do enjoy them. But obviously I will be doing a follow-up at the end of the year and we will do be doing more declutters. If I haven't used it, then we will go ahead and pass it on. But this is just kind of a chance for me to see what I have and actually use what I have. So we kept 18 and decluttered six. Okay, so here are the blushes. Would you guys believe me if I told you that I have 38 blushes that I kept? And then I also have 38 blushes that I decluttered. So we got rid of 50% of the blushes. I'm actually really, really happy with that. So this is all the declutter pile right here. So again, I wasn't exactly sure how to organize it, but I kind of just have like the three benefit blushes right here and just kind of my blushes more visible so I can just kind of grab them out like this, pull them out and I know exactly like what blush I'm looking at, which is kind of why I've organized it like this. I don't really have those great organizations the way that other people do. I'm just working with what I got. And then I have my more brushes and my Odin's eye right here for me to see my two um, benefit, my two blend bunny, and then like my cream blushes right here. I don't really know how else to store them. So that's just, just kind of where my blush section's at right here. And I wanted to let you guys know I am passing this along because I did keep those two Pat McGrath blushes. We're gonna go ahead and pass that one along. Okay, and then here's gonna be my highlighter collection right here. So I actually got rid of 27 highlighters and I kept 57. So that's 30 more than I wanted to, but we're a work in progress. I ended up decluttering quite a few of the Ofra highlighters and these have only been swatched, not even really used. I think like one or two of them have really been like just gently used. The rest have just been swatched. So these are definitely gonna go to good homes. Actually, majority of these have just been used once or twice. And if not, just gently swatched. So they're all gonna make great um, items for anyone out there that I donate to, especially like those two extreme frosts. You guys just saw I swatched it for the first time on camera. So great, great products. But yeah, I got rid of 27 and this is kind of what we're working with right now. So I do kind of have like my bigger palettes back there of like my highlighter palettes are gonna be right back there. I do have the three extreme frost, my liquid highlighters. I have now just one row of over highlighters right here that I can just pull from my Hank and Henry blend bunny, all my Odin's eye right here, color pop, Jacqueline, and then this right here. So definitely looks a lot better to me than what it did when I first started my declutter. I feel like this is definitely a lot longer of a video. If I gone through everything and swatched everything, this is probably like two hours long, but I'm very happy with how it looks. I would like to eventually condense this down even more, but that's what we're gonna do in December. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing this every six months so I can really kind of challenge myself to use my makeup products without buying so much and also declutter what I no longer use. So let me show you guys again, just the pile one more time. So keep and declutter all of that right there. So. All right, guys, guess what time it is? Somebody wants to be the star of the show, but we officially changed my backdrop. So that's what you guys see right here. If you guys actually wanna see how I changed this, well then head over to my Florida Life channel because I show everything. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Oh, this is my eyeshadow palette collection right here. Now this is not my entire eyeshadow palette collection because I do have eyeshadows in here. I have eyeshadows in here and we have eyeshadows in there. So last time I did an eyeshadow palette declutter was in December. And I told you guys that I'd be doing a declutter every six months. We're kind of past that point now because I did get delayed, but we're going through my entire eyeshadow palette collection. Last time I checked, I had over 400 palettes because I did declutter hundred back in December. So we might be back up to 500. I'm not entirely sure, but this is going to be a very long video because I'm not going to condense it down to two videos. It's just going to be one long video where I show you guys every single palette and I tell you guys if, or if I'm not going to keep it, I'm not going to bother swatching anything because that's too much to swatch I mean like literally that's way too much to swatch but I'm still gonna show you guys everything that I have and show you guys what the inside looks like and I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not we're gonna keep it or we're gonna declutter it so, so grab a snack grab a drink it's gonna be a long one all right guys so as you guys can see I do store all of my eyeshadows in these shoebox containers you guys can actually find these containers over at the container store I always get asked where you guys can find them so these are the shoe containers and these are like these sweater containers that you guys see right here here. everything can be found at the container store but i will link them down below just in case you guys do want to pick up these containers they're so easy to store all your makeup products now i am doing a massive declutter i do have a whole box of makeup that i am decluttering i'm donating i'm giving away to friends okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this declutter started you know i just realized though i never did like a proper intro i wasn't like hey guys welcome back to my channel so i apologize if you're new here um 
Yeah, I just didn't do a proper intro, but I feel like that's what you guys are not here for. You guys are here for <laughs> this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start in this drawer right over here. I'm gonna pull everything out and kind of show it in front of the camera as we work through each drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. So up first, we do have this palette from Odin's Eye. This is the Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye. I am absolutely not gonna be decluttering this. I absolutely love Odin's Eye so much. This is such a phenomenal, phenomenal palette. And if you guys do wanna pick anything up from Odin's Eye, you guys can use my code, which will save you guys 10% off. It is an affiliate code, so I do make a small little kickback whenever you guys use it, but it's a great way to save you guys some coin and support me at the same time, but never feel obligated to do so. But I absolutely love this palette, so we're gonna hold on to this one. Next, I have this palette from Artitude Cosmetics. This is their Man Eater Untamed palette. I think this is such a beautiful palette. They literally sold out of this and I think it's gonna be restocking soon. So beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this because I, it was my first time ever being introduced to this brand and I was thoroughly impressed. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Next, we do have the e.l.f. This is the Denim Days palette right here. You know, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I think it's very unique. Um, I really do love the color stories. I love the packaging. I had really good time reviewing this palette, so we're gonna hold on to this one. Up next, I got this palette from Floresis, and oh my God, is she not beautiful. This is such a stunning palette. I have not played with it yet because, well, look at it. It's like so intimidating to play with that I'm just kind of like, Oh, I mean, I wouldn't even know what type of look to create with this, honestly, but it's just too pretty to part with. So we're gonna hold on to this, but maybe come December, if I haven't played with it, maybe then we'll start to declutter it. I do another palette from Floresis. Now, I actually did play with this palette right here. This is such a stunning palette. Like, it's mostly shimmers, so it's not the easiest to, like, create a really pretty eye look with. However, because it is mostly shimmers, it's very easy, very clean, very, like, minimalistic makeup look. I had a lot of fun playing with this. The formula was really nice, and I just feel like the concept the design everything about this is so beautiful so we're definitely holding on to this one so we do this little eyeshadow palette from la girl you guys know that i've really been getting into a lot of drugstore makeup recently and my camera doesn't want to focus bitch okay so um this is a really cute palette i did have fun with this but we're gonna go ahead and actually declutter this one just because i know realistically i won't use this compared to so many of the palettes in my collection so we're gonna go ahead and let's let this one go we have a uh smoky soiree palette from dose of colors now i'm gonna hold on to this one and the only reason i'm gonna hold on to this one and it's the stupidest reason to hold on to because, well, I have so many black shadows in my collection, but this black shadow in particular, I absolutely love. I love using that black shadow to align my upper waterline with so I can match it with my fake lashes and my real lashes. And there's just something about it that I love. And I know I have so many other black shadows in my collection. I understand that. However, I just feel like this is so easy to travel with that this is like what I take with me whenever I go on vacation or if I do anything, like this is what I bring with me. So... We're still gonna hold on to her because she still gets used. Next we have the Club Nebula palette. This is the Angelica Neat Fix collaboration with Kaleidos. And I actually have not played with this palette. This was actually sent to me by my beautiful friend, James. Um, James noticed that I never, sorry, you guys are here long people, I'm so sorry. Um, James noticed I did not have this palette. I never had a chance to play with this. So this is something we're definitely gonna hold on to so I can play with it. Plus it is my beautiful friend, Angelica Neekfiss's palette. And I love her and I wanna support her. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. So I'm gonna call myself out because this is the little mini Exxon palette from Natasha Denona. So I decluttered her back in December, but then as I was actually going through and like, you know, donating and putting mystery boxes and um, giving away with friends, I actually grabbed this palette back out because I realized actually I could actually use this for New Year's Eve. And I did, and I've actually played with this several times since. So she made it. Um, she was resurrected from the dead and she's gonna continue to stay because I still really do like this palette. So yeah, I'm glad I saved her. Honestly, I don't even know if this brand is still around. This is by Makeup Maniacs. This is the Boo Thing palette and it's a Halloween palette. And honestly, even though she doesn't get as much love as she used to, I'm still gonna hold on to it just for the mere fact that it is Halloween and I don't really have that many Halloween palettes in my collection. At least I don't really think I do. Um, Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. So whenever a brand does roll out with a Halloween, palette I do cherish it for as long as I can because I feel like it's so rare for brands to come out with Halloween stuff so we're gonna hold on to this I promise this is a declutter video and I'm just realizing that I'm just pretty much showing you my collection and not decluttering anything so far but I promise things are gonna get decluttered okay so next we have the Lorac palette right here this is the elegance or unzipped elegance palette I bought this because of raw beauty Christie review so long ago so long ago and I still play with this like maybe like once a year but I don't even know if Lorac is still a brand. I never hear anyone talk about this. And I, this palette, I think I've had since like 2018, 2019. I feel like it's time, right? I feel like it's time. That's so sad. 
I'm sad. If you've been here on my channel um, for a while, you guys will have seen me talk about these donut palettes in particular. These two right here was the first time I ever hit 10,000 views on a video. And that's still very few and far between for me. Like even though I have like 40,000 subscribers, I still like never really hit 10,000 views on a video. And this was the first time I ever did. And I just have such like a special place in my heart for these two donut palettes because they just meant so much to me. They meant the world to my channel. They got me seen, I got subscribers and it just, this kind of like pushed me to that next level and I never use these anymore, like ever. I feel like I should put these, like you guys always say do like a memory, like a memory box, like a makeup memory box. I think I'm gonna do that because the idea of parting with these palettes, even though they're freaking palettes, it makes me like wanna cry. Like it makes me so upset, the idea of like letting these particular donut palettes go because I have held onto these from my very first apartment when I lived by myself because Corey and I were not together to you know getting engaged to moving in together to getting married to having our dogs to family a life a YouTube channel like they're they've been with me from the start and I just I'm gonna put them in a memory makeup box because the idea of letting them go just I don't think I can. All right, so now that drawer is empty what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let them all be empty because we're gonna organize them too because they're like completely not organized and it's driving me crazy. So now we're gonna move on to this drawer right here. Up first, we do have the Teresa is Lethal palette right here. And I love this palette. This was her second palette that she ever rolled out with. This was like the big hot older sister to her first Teresa is Dead palette. So we're gonna hold on to this because I'm definitely not gonna part with this one. We have the Lethal is Dead palette. This is the first palette that Teresa ever came out with. So of course we're gonna hold on to this. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is like a declutter slash like eyeshadow palette collection video because I'm realizing that I'm I have issues, obviously. <laughs> so up next, we do have an Ace Butte palette. This is the Envy palette, and I haven't even had a chance to play with this. So we're gonna hold on to this one just because I'd never played with it yet. Look at how beautiful this is. This is stunning. This is something I can definitely feature in like a shop my stash. Um, if you guys ever want to though, you guys can use my code over Ace Butte to save some coin. It is an affiliate code just so you guys know. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to play with this since I haven't played with it yet. So we have an Endangered Cosmetics. This is their Sea Turtle palette, and oh my gosh, I love this palette. I really do love Endangered Cosmetics. They're so beautiful, phenomenal brand. They give back to so many different conservations out there. So we're gonna hold on to this one. I do hope they come back. They haven't released a palette in a hot minute and I, I hope they can make some more stuff. Their stuff was great. We have another um, palette right here from Endangered Cosmetics. This is their Red Panda palette. Love this palette and you guys will see this in the ranking of my fall palettes. So here we have a Chaotic Cosmetics. This is the Retro Rainbow Hydro palette. This is actually a water activated um, liner palette. I actually never use this, but I don't want to declutter it either just in case I ever do want to create anything fun for Halloween. These are water activated like watercolor. So I feel like this would be really beneficial to have if I ever want to do anything like that. So that's why I'm not going to let it go because I specifically, I specifically don't have anything. I do not have anything like this in my collection. So we're going to hold on to this. Next we have a palette from Rebel Rouge Labs. This is their Howlin' For You palette. This is another Halloween palette. Definitely going to hold on to this one because I'm still truly obsessed with it. We have the Ace Pute. This is the palette Opoly game where you can like make like a really fun game using cards to create really fun looks using this palette. It's a really beautiful palette. I love how colorful it is. Is, but honestly, I really don't go into this palette as much as I should. And since I do have other Ace Butte palettes that I love more, we're actually gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Y'all, we have our second declutter. Let's go into this drawer. At first, we do have our, this is my Odin Eye Cosmetics drawer, so it's all gonna be Odin's, just so you know. But we have our Jules and Gem palette right here. Gonna hold on to this, not letting this one go. It's beautiful. We have the Angelica Neat Fix collaboration. This is the Hella palette, definitely holding on to this. We have our Solomon Volume 2 palette. <sighs> Gorgeous, holding on to it. We have the um, Christmas Eve palette and the Merry Christmas palette. I'm gonna hold on to these two. Um, I absolutely love them, and yeah, <laughs> we are definitely gonna be holding on to these. We have the Norns palette right here. Honestly, she's really cute. We're gonna put this. I think I'm gonna let her go. I think I'm gonna let her go. We have the Alva palette right here. It doesn't want to focus, but um, honestly, it's super pretty. But I think I'm gonna let her go. Another Alva palette right here. Again, very beautiful, but honestly, I think I'm gonna let it go. We have the Saga of Freya palettes right here. And while these are super pretty, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let these go. We have another Saga of Freya palette. Now there's nothing wrong with these palettes. These are probably used one time if and if not just swatched. I really do love Odin's, but I'm trying to be realistic with myself and kind of just know what I really realistically will use and will not. And as much as I wanna like hoard onto all these for like the hoarder and collector in me, I also know realistically I cannot use everything. So we're gonna go ahead and let this beautiful palette 
go. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one though, because this one is super pretty, definitely more my color scheme. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Any of the collab palettes I'm gonna hold on to because I really do love the collabs. Plus I know they're like limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone. So we're gonna hold on to these ones. This is the Hummingbird palette. This is this is the this is by Fancy Face by Judy. Very beautiful. This is the Red Dragon palette. Love this one by Annette. This is the Wolves palette. Ugh, I'm still so jealous she created this beautiful palette. I love it so much. Here are my two palettes that I created with Odin's? Like these are not mine. Like these are like all the single shadows that they create that they like launched with, and these are absolutely stunning. I have more, but I don't have enough empty containers. I have to buy more. But yeah, we're gonna hold on to these ones. Love this color story right here. This is from um, Makeup Just for Fun. Beautiful color story. Of course, I gotta keep my girl Betty Jean. Love her palette. And of course, we have the Laura May the Lauren May Beauty. This is like the Sea Talk palette. Definitely holding on to this. All right, now we're moving like in the little mini like Alva palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one hasn't even been used. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Another stunning palette, but again, we're gonna go ahead and declutter. Here we have this beautiful like skewed, skewed palette. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but we're gonna go ahead and let her go. We're gonna hold on to this palette because I really do love this palette. I love the green colors in here, so we're gonna hold on to this one. But we're gonna go ahead and declutter this palette right here because I have never even used it. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna let it go. Not gonna lie, guys, I never thought I'd see the day where I would declutter any Odin's Eye palettes. I love having a full collection of them, but I'm also trying to be realistic with myself. If I haven't really used it, I just have it here. I'd rather go to better home. So we're gonna have to let them go. All right, so this is kind of all over the place, but we have our Star Wars palette from ColourPop. Y'all know she ain't going nowhere. Now there's Star Wars palette. Y'all know she ain't going nowhere, especially because it's from ColourPop, Star Wars, say less. <sighs> we have the C3PO palette from ColourPop. Definitely holding onto this one. ColourPop and Alice in Wonderland. Definitely holding onto this. We have um, Darth Vader and the Mandalorian, the child palette. We're definitely gonna be holding onto these two for sure. We have this beautiful Juvia's Place, the Garden of Juvia's. We're definitely holding on to this. It's a beautiful pastel palette and I love a good pastel palette. So we're going to hold on to this. We have the Unearthly Cosmetics collaboration with Heather Austin. This is the Resurgence palette. Definitely holding on to this one. I love her and I love Unearthly. We do have a Galaxy palette from Ofer Cosmetics. You guys can use my code Allie. Save you guys 20% off. It is an affiliate code. Really beautiful purple palette, but we're going to go ahead and let this one go. We have another beautiful palette from Ofra. This is the Symphony palette. Again, very, very, very gorgeous, but I don't really use these colors that much. So we're going to go ahead and let this one go. Those two have not been used. The Galaxy and this one have not been even been used. So we're going to go ahead and pass them along to a better home. Okay, this little beachside palette from Ofra is super cute. I really do love this palette. So we're definitely going to be holding on to this one because it's so cute and very beachy. Love the little Empowered palette from Ofra. Definitely holding on to this one. This one's what kind of started the Influencer Pan project that I did last year absolutely beautiful. We have this cute little like peachy moment. This is called Getaway and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, but we're gonna go ahead and pass this along because she doesn't get enough love like she should. So I'm gonna pass this along. We have this beautiful Luxe palette from Ofra. This is a five pan, like beautiful neutral eye palette. We're definitely gonna hold on to this one because I do like to have a little neutral moment. So we're holding on to this one. And of course, y'all, we have to keep my little palette that I created with Ofra. I didn't like really create this. I just kind of put the colors together of what I thought represented me in Florida and stuff like that. This is my little Influencer Pan Project. This is the Allie Dawson 89 palette with Ofra. And um, yeah, look at my little name. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna be holding onto this one for sure. We do have this Life is a Drag palette by Samantha March. This is her collaboration with Ofra, but I never use this palette. It's purples. You guys know them. I'm not the biggest fan of purples. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Even though I'm not a big fan of uh, BH Cosmetics, their ice cream collection is super cute. This is the Pistachio palette. We gotta hold on to this. Do you have um, Uma Beauty? This is their Black Magic palette. This this is stunning, absolutely stunning. Definitely holding on to this one. We have a little ABH Cosmos palette. I'm gonna hold on to this one because I do love ABH. And while it's not my favorite palette, I just got this, so I'm not ready to part with it yet. We have the Natasha Denona. This is the Yucca palette, but we should really call it the Yucky. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. The Yucky palette because it did have a really horrible smell and I still love the color scheme of it though. So we're still gonna hold on to it. The smell has definitely dissipated over time because I've been leaving it sitting out, but yeah. We're holding on to this. Here we have a palette from Hot Mess Mama, AKA Rhonda. This is her collaboration with Ofra. It's a cute palette, definitely more on the neutral side, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along just because it's a little bit too neutral for my taste. You guys know I love pops. So you guys know I'm more into colors and I am neutrals. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This hasn't even been opened. I haven't even used this palette from Revolution. We're gonna have to, so we're gonna hold on to this so I could actually use it for once instead of just leaving it completely sealed. We have a, we have a Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Hudson Valley palette. You guys know I'm already holding on to this one. No way 
away with I part with this. It's too beautiful. A subscriber sent me this palette. It's from Ladybug Glow um, Cosmetics. Never really heard of it, but it's called Murky Waters. I'm gonna hold on to this so I could actually try it for once because I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So we're gonna hold on to this one. All right, we have the ColourPop. This is the um, Naruto palette. Definitely holding on to this. Just recently got this. This is the Nightshade palette by Gourmand Girls. This is in collaboration with Doodle by the Bunny. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Fighter palette. This is from... Um, Fantasy Cosmetica, you guys can use my code Ally save you guys 10% off, it is affiliated and definitely holding onto this one. Cute little palette from NYX. I absolutely love this palette. First time playing with like NYX formula in a long time or definitely holding onto this one. This beautiful Cala palette from Ace Beauté, definitely holding onto this one. Another gorgeous palette from Ace Beauté. This is the Flora palette. This reminds me of fall and it's not wanting to zoom in and focus but definitely holding on to this one this cute palette this is from what's up beauty this is the desert monsoon palette but i'm gonna let her go only because while it's really beautiful it just isn't getting as much love so we're gonna go ahead and let her go we have the begonia begonia palette from ace Vitae. this part of their flower collection while it's really pretty i know realistically i'm not going to dip into this one as much so we're gonna go ahead and let her go flora okay so this is a floor palette <laughs> um this is a purple palette and while it's really pretty it's purple i'm not still the biggest fan of purple palettes so we're gonna go ahead and let this one go especially since i do have other purple palettes in my collection i prefer more we're gonna let this go my one and only palette from give me glow cosmetics this is the juicy olive palette i still love this palette it's gorgeous we're holding on to this one it's a collab with pure cosmetics x raw beauty christy while i definitely am not the biggest fan of like the packaging anymore <gasps> that shadow's breaking do you guys see that that's breaking um i'm gonna hold on to this one because it is raw beauty christy and while it's not my favorite I can't part from it either. We have the Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Don't Be Jelly palette. Honestly, I haven't had a chance to play with this because I recently just got this. So I didn't have a chance to play with this. So we're definitely holding on to this one. So we have the Switching Hour palette right here. This is by Alien Cosmetics, which is now known as Unearthly Cosmetics. And I'm always gonna hold on to this one. You guys know how I feel about Halloween palettes. So she's staying. We have this Mel Thompson collab with Sydney Grace. Um, I'm not going to part with it because unfortunately Mel Thompson is no longer with us sadly. So we're going to hold on to this one for sure. I absolutely loved this palette from Gourmand Girls. So this is the Spooked palette in collaborations with Doodle by the Bunny. We are definitely holding on to this one. I got, I love a good Halloween palette. We have this beautiful um, coastal palette from Alter Ego. You guys can use Dawson 10 to save you guys 10% off. It is an affiliate code. Um, I think I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna decide between this one or Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna put this one to the side because I think I might declutter this one. There's some Alter Ego palettes that I have that I don't have like their dupe palette for. So we're gonna put this one to the side. We have another Alien Cosmetics, AKA <laughs> Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Not Normal palette definitely holding on to this one. I have this beautiful like rainbow palette slash tie-dye palette from Hank and Henry, but honestly, I never really use this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. We have these, this chaotic cosmetics. This is the dreadful palette right here. This is a Halloween palette. Definitely holding on to this one. We have, even though it doesn't look like it, this is a Halloween palette from chaotic cosmetics. This is the brainwash palette right here. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Juvia's place. This is the Wahala two palette, but honestly, I never really use this one. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. We have the um, elf collaboration with chipotle and oh my god y'all i miss chipotle i used to eat it once a week and since my tooth i haven't been able to eat it but i'm hoping this week i can start again and let's just say i'm holding on this one because it's just still it's so iconic we have the bh sweep shop collection this is going to be the cherry palette and again i'm going to hold on to this one i have to hold on to these ones because they're too iconic to let go even though i'm a big fan of the company the formula speaks for itself and they were just they were just a fun collection this is one of my favorites this is the orange sorbet palette and oh my gosh y'all I still love this palette. It is just way too pretty. Here is the blue uh, bubblegum one right here, the bubblegum shop. Oh my gosh, is that not so pretty? Love this one from BH though. This is the sugar cone. This is a beautiful like neutral eyeshadow palette. Like, come on, that is just way too pretty. And then we have the cotton candy one. This is the last one and part of the ice cream collection with BH. And again, so freaking beautiful. No, how is this? No, no, that palette's breaking. Oh, this is the droid palette. The Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica and that shade over there is breaking. I don't know how that's happening. That's so sad. We're definitely holding to this one, but man, that's so sad. What is happening? Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking serious? Y'all, I don't know what's happening, but I, I literally, they just sit in my collection. Nothing happens, but yet my shades are breaking. What the heck? So, so far, this hasn't broken, but I don't really know what's happening, why those palettes are breaking. Well, I don't know why they're breaking, y'all. They just kind of sit in my collection. I don't mistreat them. I don't do anything. They just sit there. Yeah, somehow these are breaking. So I'm going to reach out to the company and kind of let them know. 
that over time my shadows are breaking. <laughs> I don't need a new palette, but I'm just going to let them know like, hey, because that shouldn't be happening. And that's really sad, but we're still going to hold on to it. Oh my God. I love this palette. This is from Shroud Cosmetics and Batty Bean. Love this palette. Definitely holding on to this one. Oh no, this is happening too. What is happening? I don't know. See, this is why I got to do my declutters. Cause look at that. Like some of these shadows are breaking. I don't know if it's cause they just sit in the collection or they're being pushed. It's too tightly jammed in there. I don't know, but it's making me sad. And we're definitely holding on to this one. This is the It's Freaking Bats with Batty Bean and Shroud. And it's just, oh, I love this palette. Next, we have the Game Beauty. This is the Phantom Thieves makeup palette right here. She's super cute, but I don't really know the reference or the concept. So we're going to go ahead and let her go just because I know realistically I'm not going to really use this. We have the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Euro palette. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Metaverse palette. Again, another Persona, another Game Beauty X Phantom Thieves, but we're going to go ahead and let her go. We have a Nomad Fire and Ice. First palette I ever got from them. Definitely saving this one. We have the Nomad. This is like the France palette. We're definitely going to save this one. We have the Nomad. This is like the Paradise Island palette. Definitely going to hold on to this one. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Cloud Forest palette. And this shade right here, Cloudy Canopy, looks like it's cracking. <sighs> Y'all, I'm getting upset. I don't know what's happening. We have the Love and Death palette. We have the Love and Death palette from Nomad, and I'm definitely saving this one. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Haunted Europe palette, and definitely going to be saving this one. I mean, like, just look at this right here. Like, so pretty. We have this really cute Nomad palette right here. I honestly can't pronounce what it's called, but all I know is super cute, and I'm gonna hold on to it. <laughs> we have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Snow Lodge palette. Definitely saving this. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the America palette right here, and I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. We have the Ultra Ego. This is the Luster palette right here. It's a really beautiful, like, neutral eyeshadow palette, but honestly, I'm probably gonna let this one go because I just... I have these shades in other palettes and I just don't get this one as much love. So we're going to go ahead and pass this one along. The Alter Ego. This is the Aurora palette. This is so pretty. We're definitely going to save this one because it's too pretty to let go. We have the Alter Ego. This is the Canon palette right here. And I think this is like a, a mix of like the Natasha Denona like bronze palette, which I don't have. So we're definitely going to save onto this. We're definitely going to hold onto this one because I think it's so pretty. So we're going to save this. We have the Alter Ego. This is the Midsummer palette right here for the ABH Novu palette. But I know I'm going to keep that palette. So we're going to go ahead and let this one go because it's so pretty. But I already have that palette. We have the Game Beauty. This is the Harbinger palette. We are definitely going to save this one because it's too cute. And I love the I love the concept and the design. Same with the Game Beauty. This is the Victory palette right here. Again, another gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So saving this one. Next, we have like this Cyber palette from Game Beauty. Honestly, I thought the quality of this was <laughs> not good. Um, I couldn't get really to work for me at all. So I think we're going to go ahead and let her go. It's a really cool concept. I love it. But the Cyberpunk palette just honestly didn't work for me. So we're going to go ahead and well, we're going to declutter this one. We have the cute little fantasy palette from Game Beauty. And we're definitely going to hold on to this one. Then we have the Game Beauty. This is the Adventure palette. You know, I really do like about this palette. They have that pressed glitter right there. They heard the con they heard the consumerism and how we hated the pressed glitter. So they took those out of their palettes, which I do really appreciate the brand listening to us. So we're going to go ahead and save this one right here. Now, I um, am realizing how long this video is actually going to be. So what I'm going to do, since I went ahead and I took all those ones out, I'm going to now take a moment to reorganize them because I literally have palettes surrounding me and it's getting pretty hard to move. And I'm running out of space to put my keep and my declutter. So I'm going to go ahead and organize these ones off camera. I'll come back at the end of the video and show you guys what they look like now so you guys can see what they look like because I just feel like this video will be too long if I showed the organization process as well I'd rather show you guys the palettes and tell you guys why I am or am not keeping them so I'm going to quickly um just organize these off camera we're going to come back to work on the shelves we're gonna come back to work on the other ones down below plus our drawers so I'll be back so these drawers are organized and I have one empty drawer that gets me so excited which means we're making some progress so now we're going to move on to these drawers right here like I said I'll show you guys the organization at the very end so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this drawer right here and we're going to continue on with the collection slash declutter video okay, so up first we do have my urban decay slash game of thrones palette I absolutely love this palette, so I'm not going to declutter it, even though like I don't really ever use it anymore. I feel like it's definitely a collector's keep because they didn't make this anymore. It was viral. It sold out like crazy, and yeah, I'm going to hold on to this one. So I have this Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. Um, 
I'm not gonna use this, so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Up next, we do have the Urban Decay. This is the Naked Honey palette, and oh my God, I still love this palette. I think it's really, really beautiful and it doesn't want to focus. This was like the first time that Urban Decay rolled out with like a really good formula in my opinion. I didn't really care for like the other naked collections like one, two, three, cherry, heat. I just wasn't a fan, but this one I actually generally really did love. So we're still gonna hold on to this one. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is the Naked Cyber palette right here and it's really, really, really beautiful. I only had a chance to play with it like one or two times and um, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't wanna focus. Jesus. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. I'm gonna hold on to this one because I didn't get to show it as much off as I want to and I wanna play with it more, but if I don't use it by December, we'll have to part ways. Here is the Naked Wild West palette and I absolutely love, absolutely love this palette. So we're still gonna hold on to this one. I still have the brush. I just take it out so it doesn't fall out when I open the palette, but still love this palette. All, up next is all my Milk Cosmetics palettes and I have a love-hate relationship with this brand. Some of their palettes I absolutely loved, other palettes I absolutely hated. So we're gonna kind of, uh, this is gonna be a hard one for me. So let's just get this started. First, we have the Beetlejuice collection with Melt Cosmetics. I really do love the concept and color scheme of this one. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Plus this was super limited edition. I don't even know if they still have this anymore. Um, we're definitely gonna hold on to this one, at least for sure. See, now this one is definitely not a color scheme for me. I, I, I just don't do color schemes like this, honestly. Um, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. We're gonna come back to this at the end of the video because I don't know, like the hoarder in me doesn't want to let it go, right? Because like, obviously I have a whole collection. I don't want to let go of any of my melt palettes, but I also need to be realistic with myself. So we're going to put this one towards like to the side. We'll come back to it at the end of the video. We have this really pretty melt palette right here. Um, oh my gosh, it's also super heavy. I, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Yep, I'm letting it go. Okay, so we do have this Urban Decay collaboration with like marbles. This is like the Eternals collection. It's like super cute, um, but I'm gonna let this one go. It's gonna go to Better Home. Here is my Melt. This is the Electric Trip palette. I did not like this palette. I thought it was um, not good. I didn't care for the formula. Um, didn't care for the packaging. Just really wasn't a big fan of this. So we're gonna put this on the can't decide because again this is just where I'm battling myself in terms of like having a full collection or like letting things go so this is gonna be put off to the side for now there is another melt this is like the impulse palette this thing is absolutely heavy again this is one of those palettes I'm gonna put off to the side to decide at the end of the video we're gonna let her go here is my Mary Jane palette we're gonna let her go I loved this palette with Milk Cosmetics. This is their Rustic palette. I'm actually gonna hold on to this one because I still love this palette. So we're gonna hold on to this. This is the 27 palette from Melt. Um, we're gonna let her go. This is kind of sad. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm sad. It's because I've had these for so long and you guys know I'm such a big collector and um, obviously I'm very proud of my collection. I paid for 99% of the makeup that you guys see in here and letting something go is just making me like really, really sad. But I know like, I know I need to. Like in 10 years, I'm not gonna be using this. You know what I mean? Here are the Day of the Dead palettes from Melt Cosmetics. Oh, I'm not letting these ones go. I love these ones too much. So we're gonna hold on to these. I still love this palette. This is the 24, this is the 420 palette. This is the 420 palette from Melt. I'm still gonna hold on to these ones. I love this one so much, but I am making sure I check all my Melt palettes because when Teresa did her declutter, she found some mold in her palettes and that got me kind of worried. <laughs> so we're still gonna hold on to this one um, cause I still love it. Here is the Gemini 2 palette. And I, like I said, I've been expecting these, making sure that they're all okay. Um, this is just a piece of paper right here, in just case anyone's knows piece of paper, but mine still look okay. So um, we're still holding on to this one. My very first Melt Cosmetics palette. This is the Gemini palette right here. This is Gemini palette right here. It's my very first Melt Cosmetics palette. And uh, yeah, we're still gonna hold on to her. She's still, she's still loved. Got this in a mystery box and it came like that. <laughs> That shade came broken, so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, this is the Smoke Session palette. This one was well-loved, and whenever I look at it, I have such fond memories. Like, I have memories attached to these palettes of reviews that I've done in the past, and so it's, like, harder for me to let it go, but I'm definitely not letting this one go. I still cherish it, so we're saving this one. This is my Radioactive palette with Melt. Definitely gonna be saving this one for sure. I'm, like, thoroughly inspecting the palettes now because I'm scared. Those little dots right there, I those are just from 
the shade Skylight, so we should be fine. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one still. We have a Makeup Revolution, like Game of Thrones palette that Heather sent my way. We're definitely decluttering this. We have the Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the, um, Sugar and Grunge palette. We are definitely saving any Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. I'm not getting rid of, so I'm gonna tell you that right, right now. I, I love them too much. And you guys can use code Allie, save 10% off. It is affiliated. We have the Lore palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. My God, she's beautiful. We have a Rogue palette. This is from Fantasy Cosmetica, and I'm definitely keeping this one. It's too pretty to let go. We have this beautiful Goddess palette from Alter Ego. I'm definitely saving this. It's a dupe of a Natasha Denona palette that I don't have, so we are definitely holding onto this one. By far, my favorite palette from Ace Butte. This is the Tropical Vibes palette, and oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. Definitely my type of palette, so we're definitely holding onto this one. We have the Wilderness palette by Beauty Bay. This is definitely my color palette, and we're gonna hold onto this one, although she's starting to break just a little bit. We have this beautiful Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. This is so beautiful. Definitely holding on to this one for sure. We have this really beautiful Sunset Horizons palette from Beauty Bay, but unfortunately, I just haven't had a chance to really play with this one this much. And I know myself, I'm not really going to. I'd only play with like these six corners right here. Everything else I would not play for. So we're going to go ahead and pass this along. I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Made by Mitchell collaboration with Beauty Bay. I'm always gonna hold on to this one because my beautiful, amazing friend Mikey sent this to me and this is what started our beautiful friendship like for four years now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna always hold on to this. I have this palette here from um, Adept, Adept Cosmetics, but I have not played with it yet. I love the shimmers in it, but I don't care for the mattes. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this in though. We're gonna come back to the end of the video because I don't wanna like, apart from it because it was so expensive, but at the same time, I'm not really a big fan of the color scheme. I think I got this like in a mystery box, actually. I feel like that's why it's even in here, but oh yeah, it was a mystery box exclusive. We're gonna come back to this. Now, this one from Adept Cosmetics, this is like their like, um, oh, what do you call it? That one movie, one show, Arrow or something like that. I've never seen it, but this is like what was inspired by it. We're definitely gonna be holding on this one. It is too beautiful to let go. Oh, we have a little Tro palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Y'all already know I'm holding onto this one. We have this cute little Pat McGrath. This is like a Celestio Nirvana palette. I swatched like some of the shades right here. Like those are some of the swatches. It's like a palette of all shimmers. You guys know I don't use a lot of shimmers. So I really think it's pretty, but I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna let her go. I believe I'm saying this, but here is the Pat McGrath Star Wars palette. Like legit is the Rise of Skywalker. I'm going to set this to the side because I don't know what I want to do with it. Like I want to keep it, but then like realistically, I know I'm not going to really use it. I know it could go in like the makeup memory box, but we'll come back to this one. Same with this palette right here, the Rise of Skywalker. Again, we're going to come back to this one because, because I don't, I don't really know what I want to do with it. So we're going to come back to this one. Now this one I want to keep. This one is really pretty. Definitely love the colors in this one. This is another Rise of Skywalker collection, Pat McGrath. So we're going to hold on to this one. Beautiful mossy green palette from Dosa Colors. This is in the, this is the palette called Cutting Edge. Cutting Edge. I don't know what that was, but yes, we're going to hold on to this one. Here is my Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the Carnival Interstellar Palette from Stacey Marie. Definitely holding on to this one. It is just too beautiful and I love these style palettes. And oh my God, look, I have a shade called Alien. What are the odds, huh? Look at that. Look at that. We have the Be Perfect Carnival, the Antidote Palette. Again, this is another collaboration with Stacey Marie. We are definitely holding on to her. The Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. Unfortunately, this palette got discontinued. I don't really know why it got discontinued, but we are definitely keeping her. Dollhouse, we are keeping. Surge, we are, Surge, we are definitely keeping. My OG Blends palette. Yes, we are keeping this one. And the All Dolled Up palette, of course, we are absolutely keeping this one as well. This is the Danessa Myricks Lightworks Volume 4 palette, I think it's called Volume 4. We're definitely holding on to her. She's too beautiful to let go. Okay, so right there are my two ColourPop drawers. And I have never, ever, ever decluttered any ColourPop palettes. There's a good chance I will today. Um, I feel like it's necessary, but I've never done it before, so that'll probably be harder. So we're gonna actually move down to these drawers right down there. And it's harder for you guys to see because my camera doesn't wanna go that far. We're gonna actually go through those through those four drawers first before we do the ColourPop. That's ColourPop will be saved for last. Okay, so up first we do have the Too Faced. This is the Italian Spritz palette. I'm gonna hold on to this one because I really do enjoy this palette. I had a great time playing with it, creating looks, so we're gonna hold on to this one. 
Next we have the Too Faced. This is the Sunset Stripped Palette. It's really pretty. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's also really like heavily fragranced and like perfume and it's just a little overwhelming, but we're gonna let her go. We have, next we have the Too Faced. This is the Pumpkin Spice Palette. It's like my only pumpkin spice, anything like food related with Too Faced. We're definitely gonna hold on to this one. I had a lot of fun with this one and I still really love it. Okay, but this, uh, this Tarte Man Eater Palette, man, it was so good. I still really love this palette. We're still holding on to this one. We have a Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Palette. I've actually never used this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next, we have the Sigma Palette from, this. next we have the Sigma, um, next we have the Sigma Cinderella Palette. It's pretty, but I just, personally was not a fan of this one. So we're going to go ahead and pass this one along. Next, we have my ABH. This is the Riviera palette right here. And um, we're going to hold on to this. We have the ABH collaboration with Jackie, 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 Jackie. I fucking, I absolutely love Jackie Ina. I wish she would do more YouTube videos, but here is her palette. I don't know why my camera won't focus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very beautiful palette. Definitely hold on to this. Here we have the ABH. This is the Narvina collection. This is volume three. I think I'm going to still hold on to this one because these are all colors I can definitely still use. So we're going to hold on to her. No, I just opened it. One of my shadows are broken. Okay, I have to be careful because this shadow right here, this very first one, actually opened up pretty broken. This is the volume four palette right here. I never use this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. But that one shadow up there is broken. I don't know what happened because she's never really been used. So I don't know why it's breaking. Next, we do have the ABH Narvina volume one palette. Again, I don't ever use this palette, so we're actually gonna declutter her and she's not broken, so that's good. I don't know what happened to the other one. And that, that one shade just came in broken, but I'm going to press it back together pretty tightly, see if I can salvage it before I declutter it along. We have the ABH, we have the ABH Amarizi palette right here. Again, this is a really good one. I'm going to hold on to these ones. I think the smaller ones I'm going to hold on to because I have very special memories with them, but like the bigger Nor Norina palettes, like they're still like in fantastic condition. Mine is that one. We'll just like let go. Even though she is definitely not my favorite anymore, um, this is actually my first palette that I came back to YouTube with, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. We have the ABH Carly Bible palette, definitely holding on to this. We have the ABH, this is the sub the subculture palette. Um I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't hate it. <laughs> Next we have the ABH. This is the Soft Glam palette, and this is a classic. Definitely holding on to this one. Next we have the ABH Norvina palette right here. Again, this is another like um staple. Again, this is another beautiful palette. We're holding on to this one. And we have this really beautiful palette. This is the Novu palette from ABH. I love this one. We're definitely holding on to this one. So what I'm gonna do is just like I did before, I'm gonna quickly organize those two drawers. Then we're gonna move down to the bottom four, then the color pop, and that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Again, this is gonna be so long. Um, grab a snack now, take a break, because this is, like I said, it's gonna be a long video. Alrighty, so I took like a <laughs> two hour break because I actually had work I had to do for my job. So now we're gonna go back into the declutter. Like I said, we are kind of down to, um, those right there and now we are going to do this last drawer down there and then we're going to do that bottom one and then the color pop and then i'm going to show you guys what we have left and i'll also tell you guys what how many palettes i decluttered and what i kept so let's keep going so first we do have the beauty bay this is the earthly palette right here i absolutely love this palette so i'm definitely not going to be decluttering this one same with this beauty bay palette right here this is another earthly palette this is just the bigger version we're definitely going to be holding on to this we do have the be perfect cosmetics this is the love tahiti Stacey Marie palette. <laughs> we are definitely holding on to this one. This was the first Pat McGrath palette I ever owned. My sister actually got this for me for Christmas. You know, I don't know if I'll ever use it again, but I'm going to put this aside and we'll come back to this at the end of the video so I can really decide what to do with it. This is the Colored Rain Queen B palette. I absolutely love this palette. We are not getting rid of this one. It's one of my favorites. We have the Makeup by Mario. This is the Ethereal palette right here. And um, yeah, I love this palette. It's super cute, really beautiful, everyday neutral palette. Definitely going to hold on to this one. Up next, we do have the Pat McGrath. This is their Bridgington or Bridgington. Bridging Bridgerton <laughs> volume two. My husband gets so mad the way I say it. He says I always say it wrong, but I don't mean to. I'm gonna hold on to this one because it is limited edition. Same with this palette because it was limited edition. So we're gonna hold on to the first one as well. Here are three like Pat McGrath Star Wars palettes. Um, I'm gonna put these to the side to figure out what to do with them because I don't know what to do with them. So. 
we'll figure this out at the end. Here's the Pat McGrath Mothership palette. I'm still gonna hold on to this one because they are pretty, I'm not gonna lie, and they cost me a fortune. Definitely keeping the Natasha Denona Retro palette. Keeping the retro, keeping the retro palette because, well, being the retro palette, she was decluttered, but she was resurrected. Surprise. Keeping the Natasha Denona, this is my dream palette, so pretty. Definitely keeping the Natasha Denona retro palette. I mean, definitely keeping the, Den the Natasha Denona retro palette. Wait, are they all called retro? We have the Natasha Denona love palette holding onto her. Definitely holding on to the Zendo palette. The beautiful triochrome we have to keep. Okay, but these glam face palettes, my God, are they beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. And this is the glam face palette right here. Another beautiful one. I feel like I keep calling them all the same names. I'm kind of confusing myself, but we're definitely keeping this. Are called the same, just something different. Here's the glam face palette. Um, this is the deeper palette. And yes, I'm still keeping this. We have the beautiful sunset palette. Definitely holding on to this. Uh, I so badly wanted this naughty palette from Huda Beauty and I still love it. This is definitely a keep. We have the Huda Beauty. This is the Mercury Retrograde palette and I'm not getting rid of this. It's too pretty. I think I'm going to keep, honestly, all of my Huda Beauty palettes. I don't think I'll ever part from them. Still a classic. This is the Rose Quartz. I think I'm going to get rid of the Ultra Ego one since I do have this one. And I just, God, I love this one. We have the Rose Quartz Remastered. Definitely keeping. We have the Desert Dust palette. Yes, I'm absolutely keeping this one. My gosh, we have this gorgeous Empowered palette. I absolutely love this palette, especially for the holiday season coming up. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Here we have the Mothership. This is the Moonlight Seduction palette. Yes, definitely keeping this one. We have the Celestial Divinity palette from Pat McGrath, definitely keeping. Same with the Celestial Odyssey palette, definitely keeping this one as well. So I gotta empty out my camera because I ran out of room. And when we come back, we have um, these drawers down here. We have those two followed by these two, but I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of these. We're gonna come back and we're gonna finish this up. This, like I said, this is a long video. Alrighty, to continue on with the declutter series. So we have my very bottom drawer. I'm gonna start to go through these rather quickly because these are palettes that I'm really not gonna depart too much from because they're like P. Louise and stuff like that. But up first, we do have my P. Louise. This is the Stackham series. And I absolutely love P. Louise and the formula. Really, really pretty palettes. So we're gonna be holding on to these ones. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Like, so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Again, I love this little series from P. Louise. This is actually gifted to me by an amazing friend of mine. Her name is Heather, and she's a wonderful subscriber, and she was very sweet and sent me these ones. Although this one I did pay for myself, and I have to say it's so pretty. Like, oh, it's like one of those perfect fall palettes. I am just, oh my god, I'm so in love with this one. So freaking pretty this is the take the risk or lose the chance palette again another beautiful palette from p louise love 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 this one this is the invest in yourself babe i am here is the big money shot palette again i'm gonna hold on to this one like look at how gorgeous these are this is the worldy palette from P. Louise, and again, definitely gonna be holding on to this one. Plus, look at how cute the packaging was. And Mikey got this for me for my birthday one year. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. This is the All the Signs palette, and you guys will definitely see this in my ranking of my fall palettes because ah, beautiful. Next, we have the Morphe collaboration with James Charles, but honestly, I only ever kept it because of like it being like a rainbow palette. But since I have so many other colorful rainbow palettes like this, I think it's time that we we let this one go. She can go. This is a Morphe collaboration with Disney. This is actually gifted to me by a subscriber. But honestly, I'm never going to really use it. I think it's really pretty. It's like a nice little Disney-esque vibe to it. But I think I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Let it go to a better home. Next, we have the Morphe 35, like, icy palette, but I never really used this palette. I only kept it because it was pastel, but I definitely have better pastels in my collection, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this along. Next, we do have the Jaclyn collaboration with Morphe. This is the volume two. I love Jaclyn, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. And this is the first Jaclyn palette with Morphe. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think she's cute. Um, I think at first I did, but I definitely have evolved my taste over time. Not as cute as it once was, but I'm still gonna hold on to it because, well, memories and it's Jaclyn and yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it. Here we have the Volt collection with Jaclyn. This is the Ring the Alarm palette and mine looks okay. I know there was like some mold issue, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. Here we have the Ring the Alarm palette, or here we have the Dark Magic palette. Again, no issues with this one. So we're gonna hold on to this one. I'm sorry, that's my dog Kaya barking. I'm so sorry. Here we have the Bling Block, Bling Paw, <laughs> from Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna hold on to this one, sorry. Now I will say this was actually one of my favorites from Jaclyn. This is the Armed and Gorgeous and this is still really beautiful and it kind of reminds me of fall actually. Here we have the Patrick Ta palette right here. This is the Major Dimensions Volume 1. I waited forever to get this palette. I'm definitely not decluttering it. And this is the Major Dimension Volume 2 palette. Again, we are definitely holding on to this one. All right, moving on to the next drawer. Up first, we do have the Amulet palette from Adept Cosmetics. Absolutely love their formula. Gonna, gonna definitely hold on to this. Oh my gosh, the Heather Austin palette was definitely one of my favorites. We were absolutely holding on to this. Ooh, this pretty baby right here. She cost me. She was expensive, but it is like all foils. Very beautiful palette from Adept. Definitely holding on to this. Next, we have all the Dominique Cosmetics palettes. I'm not going to declutter any of them because they actually don't make them anymore. They are completely discontinued minus one palette. So I'm going to show you guys which ones they still have and which ones they don't. So... They still have the Moment palette right here, which you guys can use code Allie, save you guys 10% off at Dominique Cosmetics. I absolutely do love this palette. I got this last summer. Definitely holding on to this. This is one of the few palettes they still have left on their website. Shit. <laughs> we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics. We have a Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morphe. I'm going to hold on to this one. It's a beautiful neutral palette, and I really enjoyed it last year, so we're going to hold on to this. Next, we have the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Latte 2 palette. This was discontinued, so they no longer have this palette, so I'm absolutely holding on to this. I loved this palette so much. It's so beautiful. This is the Essential Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. You guys can still find this in stock. And um, yeah, I'm not going to get rid of this one. My OG palette. This is the Latte Palette. I don't know how well it comes off on camera, but this thing is so dirty because this is the first palette I have ever used. Review everything. Definitely going to be holding on to this. It's a classic. We have the Lemonade Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Definitely holding on to this. We have the Curl Blossom Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. It's such a beautiful palette, but unfortunately it's discontinued. We have the Barry and cream palette super cute but discontinued this was one of my favorites from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Celestio Storm Palette. Again, they no longer have this palette, but it was one of my favorites. It's super pretty. Here we have the Rustic Glam Palette. Again, they don't have this anymore. I don't know why they discontinued them. They're so pretty. Like, you think they would still have them. Cute little sweater weather moment. This was, a, I think, a collab with Ipsy. Like, this is like an Ipsy box. Um, definitely not my favorite, but... We gotta hold on to it for sure. This is the Transition Palette. This is an all matte palette meant for like transition shades. You guys can still find this on the Dominique Cosmetics website, but I'm still gonna hold on to it. We have the mini little Unconditional Love Palette. This is still found on the Dominique Cosmetics website. I really do hate how they use pressed glitters. The palette would be so much better if that was just a shimmer, but she's still cute. Honestly, I don't remember what this palette's called. Never, now or never. I, I think that's what it's called. I honestly don't know, but they did dis discontinue this. And again, I was not a fan of the press glitter, but I'm still gonna have it. This is the only Kylie Cosmetics palette that I own, and I'm definitely gonna hold on to it because it's just so unique. I really enjoyed this palette. And um, yeah, the formula was great. Packaging was great. It was a fun time playing with this. So we're gonna hold on to this. I have these two palettes from ColourPop that I picked up at Target. So I never even had a chance to play with them yet. So we're definitely gonna hold on to these two. I just got this in a ColourPop mystery box. So we're gonna hold on to this. This is the, I think, um, Jewel Play, oh, Je Play Jewel palette. We're gonna hold on to this one. I absolutely loved this palette. This is an Essence palette in collaboration with like Disney the Lion King. We are definitely holding on to this one. It's definitely a fun palette to play with. This is Catrice the Jungle Book palette, but I know me. I'm not going to go into it as often as I want to, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Just like I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This one still has the film completely wrapped around it. I didn't even get a chance to like open or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to Better Home. All right, guys, we're officially moving on to that ColourPop two drawers you guys see right there. I'm gonna quickly count to see how many ColourPop palettes I have, and then we're gonna go through them. Okay, so I just counted and I have 128 ColourPop palettes. But to be fair, I didn't buy all of these. Like some of these actually came in like mystery boxes, you know what I mean? So I didn't like buy all of these, but I think what I'm gonna do is because this video is probably already long enough as it is, I think I'm gonna like, lay out all of my color palettes instead of like i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna lay out all of my color pop palettes all at like one time so i can honestly look through them myself because i feel like if i go through 128 color pop palettes this video is probably gonna be like two hours if not longer and it's already like six o'clock in the evening and i have been doing this now for a good four and a half almost five hours i didn't realize how much freaking shit i have and i'm not even done i haven't even touched my glam light drawers or anything like that and this is just so I'm going to lay everything out and then we're going to show you guys, I'm going to lay everything out, then I'm show you guys what everything looks like. And then I'm going to kind of go from there. I've been a collector of ColourPop for so long, I've never decluttered palettes. That's why I also have so many, but 
I'll be back. All right, guys. So here is all 128 ColourPop palettes. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. This took me forever to sit here and unbox them because I always save the sleeves. I just, I can't help it. I just always do. So to lay this all out, here we have all 128 ColourPop palettes. Now this is gonna make it really easy for me though because there are some palettes that I've already seen that I definitely do wanna declutter. Um, like I said, I got some of these in PR boxes. I got some of these in mystery boxes. And then a lot of these I actually just did pay for myself. Like all the, like the nine pan palettes you guys will see, I paid for myself along with these big palettes right over here. But oh my God, y'all. <laughs> this is insane look at this right here this is truly freaking insane oh my gosh that is crazy and now i gotta go through these reorganize them so i'm just gonna show you guys what i end up decluttering and what i end up keeping i'm not gonna go over every single individual one because that's just gonna take way too long but this is all 128 color pop palettes you guys can see a lot of them actually do look alike when you actually look at them like from a distance you can definitely see how they look alike but oh my gosh y'all this is crazy wow All right, guys, so there is the ColourPop declutter pile. This is what we have right here. And right here, I did keep 103 ColourPop palettes, but I did declutter 25. And the reason why it adds up mostly is because I wanted to keep the hor horoscope collection. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue. But I'm very proud of myself. I've never gotten rid of a ColourPop palette before, and this is my first time. So I'm very proud of myself. But this is my Glam Light makeup drawer right here. As you guys can see, I love Glam Light with all my heart but it's just so hard to store these palettes because it's such unique packaging so i'm just going to quickly try to organize this really fast to see if i can make it look better also to count how many palettes are in here as well because i'd never think i never count these on my collection but here's my glam light door let me just quickly organize this so here's all of my glam light cosmetics palettes i pretty much have a review on every single one of these palettes and i also did a ranking of these palettes last year if you guys want to see an updated ranking video please let me know in the comments below but this is literally all of my glam light palettes you guys see here all laid out so nice and pretty i believe i counted i think there's 40 glam light palettes i believe i own every single one i think i'm missing like one palette from the very beginning when they first created palettes i think i'm just missing just the one but other than that i literally have every single glam light palette because you guys know that i absolutely love glam light and i save all of the packaging so here are just all the palettes i'm not decluttering any glam light palette i don't think I will ever declutter a my palette because they're absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands. And I'm truly obsessed with them. And I just can never see myself parting from them. So I just want to show you guys what my glam light palettes look like. So you guys had an idea of glam light and my love for them. And you guys can use code LED, save 15% off when shopping with them because, well, they're just amazing. Okay, so this is how my glam light drawer looks like now. So definitely a little bit more organized. Um, as you guys can see though, she's still like pretty full um i do have over 40 glam light palettes i pretty much have every single palette they have ever created i think mine is like one like from the very beginning but i literally have every single one you guys know that this is my absolute favorite favorite brand in the entire world and if i ever had a collaboration with them oh my god it would be the best day in the entire world but this is how my drawer is looking i'm not decluttering anything i don't know if i'll ever declutter glam light palette but i just want to show you guys all the glam light palettes that i do have there are 40 of them and i know that they're just going to grow even bigger and better because they have i think four halloween collections coming out this year like i know that in september they have the ghost face collection like their scream collection i believe they're doing a jason collection a you know freddy krueger collection and probably a michael myers collection so stay tuned guys it's gonna be a very very busy halloween season with them and i'm so excited okay so here's my everyday makeup drawer so up first we do have my tati beauty i'm not getting rid of any of these palettes just so you guys know but i do want to show you guys what they look like as you can see she was very very well loved oh such a beautiful beautiful palette i wish that this was still a thing i wish tati beauty was still around but unfortunately she's no longer around and that um it's sad but yes i still love this palette 
up, we have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Whimsical Nude Palette. We have this like Laura Lee Empty Magnetic Palette, but I also put like Teresa's collab that she did with Lethal in here as well, because I didn't know what else to do with it, but this is like a little like Laura Lee Palette. We have the Nudie Batootie Volume 2 Palette. I still love this palette. We have the OG Cat's Pajamas palette. This was the first palette I ever bought myself. Very first one, I just never did a review on it, but oh my gosh, I'll always cherish this. We have the Candy Sky palette. This is the Laura Lee, the Laura Lee Los Angeles and Erin collab. Like this is so freaking cute. We have the Nudie Patootie palette. This is the second palette Laura ever created and it's still so cute. Party Animal and Boss Babe. The only thing I'm missing is actually the Sleigh Ride palette, but these are adorable. And we can't, and we can't forget the Full Fantasy. This is a collaboration with Lunar Beauty in Laura Lee Los Angeles. Okay guys, then right here we do have all of my Lunar Beauty palettes. You guys know that Lunar Beauty is again one of my favorite brands. I would never discontinue any, I would never get rid of any Lunar Beauty products. There's the first Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag palette. Then we have the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2, Volume 1, Strawberry Dreams, Greek Goddess. We have New Prism, Eternal Eclipse, my very first PR I ever got, which is the facelift palette, followed by the Avon Calendar palette. So here are all my Lunar Beauty palettes right here. Then we do have the Jaclyn Cosmetics palette. This is like a, I think just a strawberry palette or just called Jaclyn, but we have this. And we do have the Jaclyn Dear Mom palette right here. This is another one of Jaclyn Cosmetics palettes. All right, guys. So those are all my palettes. Now I'm going to show you guys what I kept and then what I decluttered because I didn't realize I didn't show you what I decluttered from my ColourPop stuff. So we're going to get to that in a minute, but this is everything I kept. So I officially have one empty drawer, which makes me so excited. This drawer in here, this is all of my Odin Eye Cosmetics palette drawer right here, which I really, really love this drawer. Then you move over here, we're going to have all of my Nomad Cosmetics, my Game Beauty and Alter Ego and my Endangered Cosmetics. So this is like my indie brand drawer right here. This is a mix of like drugstore and indie brands. You're gonna have like NYX, you're gonna have Pure, you're gonna have my Fantasy Cosmetica, BH Cosmetics, Elf, Revolu Makeup Revolution, Juvia's Place, Artitude, and Uma Beauty kind of found in here. Over here is my Halloween drawer. I love my Halloween drawer. I hope that we can expand this. And if we do expand this, it will move into here. And then this will go up into here. And all that's in here is just kind of like my smaller palettes. So we just kind of have a mix of Ofra. We have Colored colored Rain Cosmetics. We have Floracis, Give Me Glow, and Chaotic, and Catrice. Down over here, we do have my Melt Cosmetics drawer along with my Dose of Colors and my ABH drawer right here. I actually will show you guys what I decluttered from Melt because I realized I didn't show you guys what I decluttered. Over here, we do have my ColourPop drawer. So here, I'm trying to keep it all kind of color-coded so you'll see kind of like, like in a color-coded area. I also kept all the little horoscopes and those are in order of the, hor the horoscope season. I absolutely love how this drawer looks. Along with this drawer, this is kind of more of like my bigger palettes from ColourPop. So that's another ColourPop drawer. ColourPop drawer. Over here, we do have my Blend Bunny Cosmetics and my Be Perfect and my Beauty Bay palettes along with my Adept Cosmetics are found in here. This is like another indie drawer. Down here we have more of my high-end well-known brands like Urban Decay, Tarte, Danessa Myricks, and Too Faced and everything and Makeup by Mario in here. Down here is my all expensive drawer. We have all my Pat McGrath. I actually did decide to keep those Star Wars palettes from Pat McGrath. I realized I didn't really want to let them go. They're so rare. A subscriber sent them to me and I was so unbelievably grateful for them. So I'm actually going to keep on, like keep holding onto those. So I did that. I have all my Huda Beauty palettes right here and all my Natasha Denona palettes are on this side. Pat McGrath and Huda Beauty. Down over here, we do have all of my Dominique Cosmetics along with all of my Jaclyn X Morphe are going to be found right over there. And then down here is like my really expensive drawer. We have my Patrick Ta Beauty along with all of my Pete Louise and it definitely looks so much more organized. So overall, out of this entire palette collection, I kept over 360 palettes. Now that seems like a lot because it is. However, a hundred, I think it's like a hundred, a hundred or like a hundred and three is ColourPop alone, like ColourPop alone. So if you were to take away 100, I really only kept like 260, like 260 out of my entire eyeshadow palette collection, which I definitely think is a lot better than what it once was because I literally had 500 at the big start of the year. And now I'm down to 360 palettes. We're still a work in progress. Mind you guys, I did pay for 99% of these palettes. I'm very proud of my collection, so it's very hard to let things go. But let me show you guys what we're actually decluttering. So you guys saw that I kept over 360 palettes. 
I'm so excited because we also decluttered 96 palettes. So here are all my palettes that I am decluttering. Everything you see right here is being completely decluttered. Now I have some things I want to talk to you guys about because some of these things you guys have not seen, but this is all of my palettes are being decluttered and there's 96 of them. So we're going to kind of start all over here in the corner. I am decluttering those two ABH palettes along with those Milk Makeup and Sunrise palettes. We have Sigma, we have Too Faced, we have Ace Beauté, we have Odin's Eye, we have some ColourPop. So I realized I never showed you guys my ColourPop. So I'm getting rid of the ColourPop Pretty Please, the ColourPop well, One and Done palette. We have Plush Like Me, we have Club Cabana, we have Hello Kitty. We have all these little small little mini palettes right here. These ones have not even really been used. Um, I did decide to declutter that Milk Makeup Beetle Juice palette because I know I'm not going to use it, so I did decide to declutter it. We have the Boing Voyage, we have a Pat McGrath, we have a Makeup Revolution, we have What's Up Beauty, we have two Game Beauties, we have some more Odin's Eye right there. We have another ColourPop palette, ColourPop palette, ColourPop palette, some of these. Down over here, I honestly did not even remember that I had these palettes. I went into my closet to go grab some candles and I saw these sitting here and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> declutter, didn't even think twice about it. This is actually gifted to me by a wonderful friend and I never even used this. This has never even been opened. We have the mini Jawbreaker and then we have the two mini controversies from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I think like, I think they're like two different ones they are they even look different so this is like i guess the new one they did they said to put that shade back that green shade so it looks like that and then we have this one the original one so i am decluttering both of these um i i don't know where the rest of my jeffree star palettes are i know i never got rid of them i definitely want to but i'm not gonna lie guys i have absolutely no idea where they are like no idea i would love to include them in today's video but I can't find them. <laughs> so I'm like, what did I do with them? So yeah, when I find them, I will declutter them. And like I said, these are like in brand new condition. I had, did decide to declutter that um, Adept Cosmetic palette because I just know I'm not going to use it. So I decluttered that. We have some more ColourPop palettes right there. We have some more ColourPop palettes, some more Odin's Eye. We have a Juvia's Place. We have two Ofer Cosmetics. Urban Decay. We have two Alter Ego palettes, some Urban Decay, some more... Odin's Eye, a Lorac, the Millennial Pink, the Alter Ego. I did decide to get rid of the Electric Chip palette from Milk Makeup, so that's going to be gone. We have some more ColourPop palettes that I am decluttering right here. And I actually went back in my collection because when I when I did my um, video, when I did my Natasha Denona, I realized that I had the Sunset palette, and so I don't need the Aurora palette since I had that palette. So I did declutter that along with my two Catrice. We have the James Charles, and we have the Icy. We have the Disney, some more Ofra and Odin's, and some Milk Makeup, and uh, yeah, and there's some more um, ColourPop, and then I did declutter that one as well. So we have over 96 palettes right here, guys, that I did declutter. Like I said, I kept 360, but we did declutter 96. Mind you guys, I know that some people are going to be like, oh my god, you're a hoarder. Guys, this is my job. This is my job to review makeup, so obviously I do collect makeup because it's my job, and I'm also very proud of my collection. I worked my ass off for everything you guys see right here, and I'm very proud of it but I'm also happy to declutter and pass these along to better homes so they can get better use than just sitting here so uh, that is it for today's video guys hopefully you guys liked my collection slash declutter video I'm hoping to get rid of more in the future where it's kind of like an even balance where it's like I kept 200 but I decluttered 200 I want to have like a nice even balance but I definitely feel like we did a good job today got rid of 96 I'm very proud of myself so all right guys that is it for today's video thank you so much to miss page corn for the beautiful inspiration i was inspired by her i'll have her link down below you guys can go check out her amazing declutter series and also just thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have shown on this video i just didn't know what to expect but you guys were so sweet so with that said guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because i do post almost every single day in the month of vlog going <laughs> and the biggest thank you goes to my beautiful wonderful page members this would not be possible without each and every single one of you and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video